Hey everybody, uh, today is just a quick video on PETG and why you should stop using it. Uh, number one reason, uh, deformity under high temperature. Okay, so PETG will start to deform somewhere around 50C to 60C. Pretty much, if your pump failed and your loop was still going, um, not going, but sitting there, before your computer shuts down from overheating, there is a chance that your PETG will deform. And what I mean deform is it doesn't retain its shape, it falls out the fitting, and you have a leak. And that's even worse than if your pump just died and then your computer shut it off from, from being overheated. Okay? Uh, number two reason is clarity. Okay? So here's a piece of PETG. Uh, it looks real clear, right? It looks good until you compare it against acrylic. This is a piece of acrylic. Now you can tell side by side which one looks better, okay? Might be a little hard to see on YouTube, can't help that. But in real life, you can see, if you hold it side by side, which one's PTG becomes real evident real quick. Now, why does this matter? If you're using certain translucent fluids or you're using pastels like bright orange, uh, something like that, it's gonna show up. And one's gonna look a whole lot better than the other. Um, PTG tends to have like a bluish hue to it, so on blue fluids, it's not as evident. So I'm gonna show you guys best case scenario, okay? This is blue pastel, all right? One of these, the longer one, is PETG. In person, I can tell just by looking at it. I'm sure YouTube will mess it up so much that it'll be hard to tell. So this is the PETG, okay? And this is the acrylic. Now, on my end, this is a lot more clear and a lot more crisp. On this end here, the PTG looks more dull. I don't know, once again, I don't know how well that comes across on YouTube, but when you see them side by side in real life, and if you take high quality photos, you can see the difference, okay? And the third reason, bend consistency. Um, this is a 16 millimeter piece of acrylic. When you bend acrylic, it will take more heat. It is not as resilient to, it, since it you know, doesn't deform as quick, it also doesn't bend as quick. So when you're heating it up, you have more time to be consistent with your bends. Uh, this is another 90 piece of acrylic. When you're bending 90s, there's a lot of 90s these days because distro plates, right? Aside from the fact that it's the most basic way of getting from A to B, 90s. So you can see these are pretty consistent. Right, from the inside angle, outside angle. Now, the PETG is a bent piece of 14 millimeter. I don't have 16 millimeter PETG because by the time I switched to acrylic, I was using nothing but 16 millimeter and I had no reason to buy, you know, 16 millimeter PETG. Um, it, I've always found this to be not as easy to get the same 90 over and over and over again. Uh, if you're going for that look, then you really need to be consistent. And if you look at YouTube, there's a guy, Declassified Systems, his channel. He's like the master of bending 90s, okay? The man has like this just simple acrylic rig to build to bend 90s, and every 90 degree bend looks the same. And I guarantee you, if you're trying to do that with acrylic, it becomes kind of tricky, even with a jig, because of the, it just doesn't take the heat the same way that acrylic does. And here we go. This is an old piece of tubing, by the way. So this is an old piece of 14 millimeter PETG. This is an old piece of 14 millimeter acrylic. I don't know how well that transfers on camera, but one's a lot more clear than the other and they both ran fluid across and just, you know, just flushed out, All right? So just a quick video. Uh, don't use PETG if you don't have to. Start using acrylic. Yes, it's much nicer to use a tool like this than just simply cut. You can't use this with acrylic. You will need to use a saw. Um, saws are cheap. Hands off from your hardware store, costs no more than this. Uh, you can hold the tubing down on a table if you're steady enough with a steady table, or you're gonna have to get a little tube holder of some sort. But in the long run, you'll have one, a better looking system because the tubing will look more clear and the fluid will just pop more than it would if it was PTG. Two, your bends will look more consistent. Three, in the event, that your pump dies, the chance of your tubing deforming and coming out of the fitting and causing a leak is even less. 
I think we've seen YouTubers have this problem. I won't say who, but a lot of YouTubers sprout leaks when something died or something overheated, and they're all using PETG, all right? And one more thing. People say acrylic is brittle, okay? That's another thing I see a lot of YouTubers talk about, acrylic being brittle. It's not brittle, okay? Um, cover your ears, <laughs> nothing happened, right? It's not gonna break, can't snap it easy. It's not brittle, okay? That's just BS right there. And you can always tell the difference too when you, when you just place it on a table you hear, right? Versus acrylic, versus, uh, this is also acrylic, sorry. Versus PTG. Yeah, see, you can always tell by the sound too. But, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for other stuff going on.